for Monday, May 23rd, 2016. Ms. Warner, can I have a call to order? Councilmember Abdelgawad. Here. Councilmember Barber, absent. Councilmember Burke, absent. Councilmember Holman, absent. Councilmember Hubach. Present. Councilmember Kellogg. Present. Councilmember Stevens. Present. Councilmember Moorhead. Present. Mayor Turnbo, absent. Thank you for the roll call. And now for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. We do have a presentation for this, a proclamation for this evening. Ms. Haley, thank you for coming tonight. I have a wonderful presentation for and proclamation for a wonderful cause, which is the Missouri Retired Teachers Association. And I would please like to read this. Whereas public education is the foundation of our society and vital to the strength and advancement of American democracy. And whereas Missouri Retired Teachers Association and public school personnel aids in advancing education by supporting high standards of education, thereby strengthening the status of the teaching profession. And whereas MRTA recognizes and honors education employees who have retired from active teaching, administration, or support positions, and whereas MRTA promotes group and individual involvement in charitable projects and activities, such as classroom grants, and maintains interest and participation in education and community activities. Now therefore, on behalf of Mayor Christopher Turnbow, myself, and the rest of the Raymore Council, I do hereby proclaim June 8, 2016 as Retired Educators Day in the city of Raymore and do hereby recognize and commend the significant contributions of educators. Ms. Healy, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Are you done with this yet? You, that's yours. Yes, absolutely. But would you like to make a comment or two for the council? Well, th thank you, Council, for taking your time tonight to do this. And uh, the retired teachers, of course, always support education. And I know Raymore has a good value and good school district. So we're glad to ha have you recognize us at this time and know that even though we're no longer in the classroom, we're still working for your children. Thank you. Thank you. I see there are no personal appearances, so we'll turn to staff reports. Mr. Fearborn. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Pro Tem. I would ask Mr. Kras to make a report for the Public Works Department. Thank you, Mr. Fearborn. Uh, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, members of the council, I wanted to uh, update you on a couple of couple of things that are in, in addition to the uh, staff report that we submitted uh, this month. Uh, one is I wanted to update council on the progress we are making with our mudjacking program this year. Um, as council will recall, we are working our way through the Foxhaven area and we've, uh, based on a survey of the city, uh, that area had the highest density of, of concrete, of sidewalk defects and repairs. So we've, we've started there. Um, to date, we have repaired um, just over 1,400 4, feet of, of sidewalk. Now, this, uh, the type of repairs that we, we're making would normally be uh, the need to remove and replace the concrete panels. They were either sunk that far or deteriorated. Um, that, based on bid prices we received, uh, equates to over $40,000 worth of work that would have been done by, the contra by a contractor to repair. We've spent a little over $1,000 on materials for that, for that work. Um, also, Mr. Stevens pointed out to me just before the meeting, we spent just a little over $40,000 for the Mudjacker earlier this year. So 
we have uh, right now achieved break even with that with that piece of piece of machinery. So. Uh, the second item, thank you. The second item I wanted to update council on is the progress we are making on the uh, APWA accreditation as we are working our way through the self-assessment process. Uh, we have identified 418 management practices that we are responsible for and uh, need to either develop procedures for or continue with the procedures we have in place. Uh, APWA defines the management practices as benchmarks for a, for a well-organized or um, agency. Uh, to date, we are either fully compliant or partially compliant with 329 of those practices. So. Uh, we are on, on target and hopefully we'll be an ext extending an invitation to the APWA to come and audit our department sometime in, in the fall. And that concludes my staff report. Great. Any questions? Council Member Kellogg. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. And thank you for the report, Mike. A great report. Always good to hear that, especially to hear that that has paid off within months since we've gotten that, that purchase at Mudjacker. I've got some questions. You know, you've, you've explained these questions to me before, but I, I want to ask them again because I believe that they're, they're relevant and they need to be expressed and, and, and explained. How many linear feet in Foxhaven does staff uh, estimate that there is to do I don't have a linear foot count at, at, my, at my disposal. There are over 300 locations in the Foxhaven area that we are working on, and they, they vary in length. They vary in length from a couple of panels to 15 or 20 panels. Okay, and then the next question is, how long of a process does staff feel that it will take to remedy those problems that we can in that, in the Foxhaven area? How um, long does it, you, do you expect to be in that area to, to do that? <sighs> Probably, well, it, <laughs> the progress we're making, it's hard, it's hard to say. What we are, we, are tr we are tracking our man hours, we are tracking our materials, and our hope is to develop a work plan, a long-term work plan, because it is going to be a multi-year program like many of ours, and we would be presenting that to, to council as part of the budget process, just for, inf just for information. I think the funding, and we are also tracking funding to see if we need additional, additional material, but right now we are just getting a handle on the productivity and so we, we are tracking that and we'll just update council as we go along and i appreciate that wholeheartedly all the way across the board uh, and i know you will but i'll ask uh, because at this point we're basically a thousand dollars away from break even uh we're probably already there as far as i'm concerned we're at break even point there everything else in my opinion is cost avoidances from this point forward with what we've got left in the city. And uh, great job, great job. Uh, I've, I've heard from the community that they have seen the crews out there. They're very satisfied with the work that, that has happened and uh, hats off to you and keep up the good work. So thank you very much. All right, any other questions of staff? Back to Mr. Fairborn. Thank you, sir. Uh, <clears throat> Ms. Houck is not here this evening to make the Arts Commission report, but she does. Uh, uh, she will be available next Monday night uh, during the other section of the work session if the council would have any uh, Arts Commission questions that they'd like to put forth. Uh, she is, as you all know, in Las Vegas with our economic development team and the mayor. Uh, sent me a picture uh, this afternoon. They were in the, the you, you've probably all heard about how large that particular convention center is I mean it's you're talking in miles and the, it was like five till two and they were at they they mark city blocks in there and they were at 24th Street and had to get to 42nd Street in five minutes and so you actually see Matt Tapp in front of them all and he's running down a crowded aisle at the convention center so they're getting a lot of work done for us she says it's very successful so far um, my report is uh, next Monday, May 30th. There is no council meeting because it is Memorial Day. I believe that it will be the first time, first Monday in five months that you all have had off. Uh, also like to report, we, we just received notification, Mr. Cataret let me know at 6.30 this evening that the U.S. Census Bureau uh, has updated our population estimate as of July 1st, 2015. Our population estimate is 20,374. 
Raymore has experienced a 6% growth rate with that number since 2010. That concludes staff reports, sir. Uh, great staff report. Uh, seeing no committee reports, we'll move to the consent agenda. I'll entertain a motion to, dissolve, or to resolve. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda to include item A, City Council minutes for May 9th, 2016. Item B, reappointment of Sheldon Castleman to the Park Board. Item C, reappointment of Jennifer Cipolla to the Park Board. Item D, reappointment of Brian Harris to the Park Board. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Unanimous vote, five to zero, it passes. Moving on to item nine for unfinished business, the second reading for item A, delinquent occupational license freedom stop. Mr. This Mayor morning. Pro Tem, I'd like to make a motion. Okay. Go I would on. move that this item be postponed to the June 13th regular business meeting of the city council. Second. Okay, I have a motion and a second to postpone this item until the second, uh, second week of June. Any discussion? All in favor? She had oh, hand sorry, Councilmember <coughs> Douglas. I'm just curious why we're postponing it without any discussion, any update. Do we have an update? With this being as condensed of a council that we have, I feel that it'd be best that we have all people here in case there is discussion that those can be taken place. Um, at this point, I, I, I would rather that it be brought before a full council than a partial council. And th th that's why I bring this up at this time. Uh, Mr. Zur, as a question, um, it's my understanding the last time we discussed this, there was the open-ended issue that if the applicant resolved the issue prior to tonight, that the item could be removed from this without a discussion of the council. Is that correct? That is correct. If the, she, if the applicant had submitted all the materials in preparation for this evening, is that, is that my understanding of your question? Yes. So if there, in fact, had been everything submitted prior to this evening, then it could, would have been removed from the agenda item as far as this is concerned with all the submitted materials qualifying for a full application. Um, and, and by implication, if we agree to this postponement, in essence, it serves as a continuance on behalf of the applicant. Yes, it would, it would basically give an additional time frame up to the second week of June, which is what I'm hearing as a postponement to a date certain. Uh, and that's the motion that I've heard come forward, which has also been seconded. Now, obviously, the council uh, could consider hearing from the applicant if they'd like to know the status of the application. Um, but at this point, your motion and your second are available for discussion and vote. Is there any other discussion? If I could dovetail off that, the reason that this continues to be on the agenda, obviously, uh, had had we received the application and the materials, uh, it, this would have been staff would have recommended that this be removed from the agenda for consideration tonight. This uh, this situation would have resolved itself. So, as, as of five o'clock this afternoon, staff had not yet received uh, the application. Okay. All in favor of the postponement, oh, Councilmember yes. Abdullah. So we're proposing to postpone it without the business asking us to postpone it? I I, that's the way I interpret it. That is correct. Um, however, obviously, you have a motion and a, and a second on the table. And as I'd indicated, if you have an interest in hearing from the applicant with regard to the status, you are welcome to ask those questions of the applicant. We do have a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor? All opposed? Can't vote is four to one. It to postpone. Uh, was the the vote was four to one? Yes. Thank you, sir. Th this is a ministerial matter. It is a it calls for a majority of the council present at the da dais this evening, so it does pass. Okay. Moving to item B, I'd ask Miss Warner for the second read of Bill thirty one sixty two. The second reading of Bill 3162 by title only. 
an ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, adopting a procedure for considering redevelopment plans and tax abatement or exemption pursuant to Chapter 353 of the Revised Statutes of Missouri. I'll entertain a motion to dispose. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I move that we approve item B, Second Amendment to the City Economic Development Incentive Policy. Second. There is a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Vote is unanimous. Yes to pass. Moving to item C, uh, Bill 3165, Ms. Warner. The second reading of Bill 3165 by title only. An ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Kansas City Audiovisual for the purchase and installation of a council chamber's video system in the amount of $40,959.30 and authorizing the city manager to approve change orders within established budget constraints. I'll entertain a motion to dispose of Bill 3165. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I move that we approve and I'm sorry, I don't see the bill number here. 3165. 3165, award of contract, city council, chambers, video equipment. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Pass 5-0. Moving on to bill 3167. The second reading bill 3167 by title only. An ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to execute a change order, withdraw architecture and design for the municipal center circle, municipal circle center design project, city project number 15-227-301, in the amount of $71,065. I'll entertain a motion to dispose of Bill 3167. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I move that final consideration of Bill 3167 be postponed to the June 13th regular business meeting of the City Council. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, uh, when we come back to take this off of the table, I would like to have an updated copy of what is proposed because what I have in front of me I've been told is not the proper um, plan that's been drawn out so I would like to know where it is because here I see uh, three office buildings and then there's references being made in the emergency management as being a part of that but emergency management was not a part of the bond issue so I would have some references I'd like to know some information more about that and then um, one of the question I would have is if it's emergency management, there's just one person, why were there three offices? If it's for the park and recreation, then they, there's only two offices there and there's three in there. So they need to um, let us know what they plan to do with the third uh, person. Because it's not good management to separate a department into two different uh, areas. So I would like to know a little bit more about that when we discuss it at our next meeting. Uh, Mr. Fearborn, you obviously have her uh, requests. We have a motion and a second on the table to postpone. Any other discussion on that issue? Seeing none, I'll ask for a vote. All in favor? Vote is approved 5-0. Moving on to Bill 3169. The second reading of Bill 3169 by title only, an ordinance authorizing and directing the issuance, sale, and delivery of $4,090,000 principal amount of special obligation refunding and improvement bonds series 2016 of the City of Raymore, Missouri, and authorizing certain other documents and action in connection therewith. Uh, normally I would ask to entertain a motion, but since this is a evolving issue with bonds, I would turn to Mr. Fearborn for an updated staff report. I thank you, sir. Uh, the city council will remember your first reading of this was a parameters ordinance. Uh, the bonds uh, for the general obligation at bond, which is the next item on the agenda, sold today. So we will have a staff report for that one, as well as placement of the special obligation series 2016 bond issue, which is also moving forward. So I would call on Mr. Goffey to make reports on both of these items. Good evening, Mayor Pro Tem, Moorhead, and council members. Um, the 
first item on the special obligation bonds, as you may recall from first reading, uh, serves two purposes. One is to complete the acquisition from Kansas City Power and Light of the street light system. And so that is moving forward and we plan to close on this special obligation bond issue on June 1st and that'll coincide with uh, the acquisition of the street light system. Uh, that amount, the final amount, is of bonds that are being issued for that purpose is $1,995,000. And then the second purpose is a refinancing of a prior special obligation bond issue that was completed back in 2006. Uh, with that refinancing, it's going to generate interest savings of about $227,000 uh, over the next several years which results in a net present value benefit to the city of about $206,000. Mr. Goffey, I noticed in our report, um, you stated an amount just under $2 million, but in our report it was slightly over that. Could you explain, um, it sounds to me like there may have been a favorable day regarding all this process? With first reading, we work off of estimated uh, rates, estimated uh, sources and uses and so after the first reading as we fine-tune the numbers that's why the par amount of the bonds for the special obligation series went down from what you saw in first reading. All right. Uh, also with us tonight uh, are two representatives with your bond counselor firm Gilmore and Bell, uh, Sid Douglas and Greg Deschler are just over my right shoulder. And we'll wait for even more good news until the next agenda item, sir. Fair enough. Thank you, Mr. Groffey. Thank you. Okay, I will now entertain a motion to dispose of Bill 3169. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I'd like to make a motion that we approve Bill 3169, Special Obligation Series 2016 bond issue. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Five votes in favor, it passes. Moving on to the next item, Ms. Warner asks for a read of Bill 3168. The second reading of Bill 3168 by title only, an ordinance authorizing and directing the issuance, sale, and delivery of 7,300,000 principal amount of general obligation bonds, series 2016 of the City of Raymore, Missouri, and authorizing certain other documents and actions in connection therewith. Mr. Fearborn. Thank you, sir. I would call on Mr. Goffey. Uh, this series of bonds is the first series of what we believe will be two series of bonds from uh, those bonds that were approved by the voters last month. Uh, and so uh, working with Mr. Fearborn and Ms. Watson, they've been very busy as of late uh, kind of putting together and orchestrating the plan of finance. And so in, when kind of combining these, uh, what we've attempted to do is take advantage of some uh, favorable tax laws that uh, for those entities that issue less than $10 million of, of tax exempt securities are able to uh, deem or designate the bonds bank qualified so it, it provides more favorable interest rates. So that's kind of why we've, we've split this up. Uh, earlier today, uh, at 11 a.m., we went out through a competitive sell process uh, using an electronic bidding platform that the city's used before uh, and have had good results with. We thought uh, earlier this morning that perhaps the interest rate or the true interest cost on the bonds would be around a 2.2%. And so certainly three of the six bids were right around the 2.2%, but we're very pleased to report that they're uh, were three bids that were substantially lower interest rates than the 2.2 percent. Uh, what we believe is the winning and the best bid uh, was from First Tennessee Bank uh, at a 2.01 percent, so substantially lower than what we were expecting. But uh, very good news, I think the city's uh, AA2 bond rating uh, is very helpful. Uh, we're also in the front side of what's likely to be a fair amount of supply of Missouri general obligation bonds coming up in probably the next 30 to 45 days. Uh, so again, congrats to, uh, to the city and certainly to staff for getting this moving 
forward in, in such a, a quick manner. Um, before you tonight is, is, the bond, is the bond ordinance to approve the 7.3 million. Uh, this issue, uh, based on your action tonight, would close on June 2nd, and then the monies would be available uh, to begin moving forward on, on project costs. That's great news. Mr. Fearborn? That includes staff reports. All right. I'll entertain a motion to resolve Bill 3168. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I move that we approve Bill 3168, General Obligation Series 2016 bond issue. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? I see five to zero in support. Moving on to Bill 3170. The second reading of Bill 3170 by title only. An ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement for the purchase of street lights from Kansas City Power and Light. I'll entertain a motion to dispose of Bill 3170. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I move that we approve Bill 3170, purchase of street lights. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Five to zero in favor. Moving on to Bill 3161. Second reading of Bill 3161 by title only. An ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, amending Chapter 115, Section 115.050, Salaries of the Raymore City Code. Entertain a motion to dispose of Bill 3161. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I move that we approve Bill 3161, Amendment to City Code, Salaries. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Passes 5-0. Moving on to new business. Ms. Warner, I'd ask for the first reading of Bill 3171. The first reading of Bill 3171 by title only. An ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Vance Brothers, Inc. for the 2016 microsurfacing project, City Project Number 16-237-202, in the amount of $409,226.87, and authorizing the city manager to approve change orders within established budget constraints. Staff report. Thank you, sir. I'll call on Mr. Grass. Thank you, Mr. Fairborn, uh, Mr. Mayor, Mayor, Pro Tem, members of the council. Uh, this particular contract uh, has three components to it. The first component is a portion of our regular street maintenance program where we've we outlined the work that's going to be performed on the map that is attached to our staff report. Also, we have included uh, two projects that were approved as part of the general obligation bonds, uh, one being the recreation park parking lot rehabilitation, and then also some work on the recreation park trails. Uh, we did receive one bid for the work from Vance Brothers. As outlined in the memo, we do have a process uh, whereby we evaluate when we receive a single bidder. Uh, Vance Brothers has performed the work for us for the past several years. In addition, we have attached to the uh, memo the, our internal contractor scorecard or vendor scorecard that is filled out my, by my staff that uh, gives us an indication of how, uh, how well the contractor performed, did they have adequate manpower, those type of things. So we do recommend award of the contract to Vance Brothers and do look forward to working with them again this year. All right, I'll entertain a motion to dispose of Bill 3171. Point of order, Mr. Mayor. Oh, yes. Are you gonna open it up for I, questions, Yes, I please? apologize. Questions of staff, thank and you. And I have one, thank you. Council Member Kellogg. I'll do respect, I appreciate that. Uh, Mike, uh, I remember a couple years back, we had used a contractor that specialized in uh, parking lot asphalt, and we hired them to do another job that we assumed that we that they could do. I'm wondering if we we're going to run into any problems with this contractor being able to do the the different uh, scopes of of microsurfacing. I, I I don't know that there's a difference between uh, parking lot, street, and trails, but I I want to make sure before I vote yay or nay on this that that these people, that, that this contractor is capable and incompetent to do all that we're asking them of, and just not assuming it. Oh, I, I am fully confident that they can perform this work. I think what you, what you are referring to, Mr. Kellogg, is, is going, going the other way when you, have a, when you have a general contractor trying to do specialty work. This, this work is 
uh, Vance Brothers performs this type of work on a regular basis, and we are fully confident that they can, will successfully complete all aspects of this project. Thank you for that. Any other questions from staff? All right, now I'll entertain a motion to dispose of Bill 3171. If I can find it on my screen. <laughs> Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I move that we approve Bill 3171, Award of Contract, Fiscal Year 2016 Microsurfacing Project. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Passage unanimously, five to zero. As for the first read of Bill 3172. The first reading of Bill 3172 by title only. An ordinance of the City of Raymore, Missouri, authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Terry Snelling Construction, Inc. for the 2016 curb replacement project, City Project Number 16-232-201, in the amount of $411,502.83, and authorizing the city manager to approve change orders within established budget constraints. Staff report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. I would ask Mr. Cross to make this report. Thank you, Mr. Fearborn, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, members of council. What we have before you this evening is the award of a contract for our annual curb replacement program. Uh, this year's work will be taking place in the Madison Creek, Gore Estates, and uh, Falcon Crest areas. Also, um, as we started last year, the, uh, this will also involve replacement of curbs in front of uh, 244 driveways scattered throughout the city that were identified uh, is in need of replacement when Public Works staff did an overall inventory of the city uh, earlier or last winter. Uh, we do recommend award to Terry Snelling Construction. Uh, Terry Snelling has done a number of concrete projects for us over the past several years. And again, we also include the scorecard for council consideration. Any questions of staff? Council Member Stevens? Been a little while since the budget, but I thought we had a half a million dollars for this stuff. It's, we're not spending it all this year or what? Um, we will. We always find extra. I mean, our, by the time between what we have surveyed the prior year and by the time we get around to the contract, um, we will definitely be pushing up towards the $500,000 mark. Any additional questions? I'll mo I request a motion to or to entertain a motion to dispose of Bill 3172. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I move that we approve Bill 3172, Award of Contract, Fiscal Year 2016 Curb Replacement Project. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Passes unanimously 5-0. Ms. Warner, we'll move on to Resolution 1627. The reading of Resolution 16-27 by title only. A resolution of the Raymore, Sit Missouri City Council providing a procedure and schedule for establishing the Charter Review Commission as required by Section 14.8 of the Raymore City Charter. Staff report. Thank you, sir. This past January, the City Council held a work session to discuss moving forward with establishing a Charter Review Commission and having them begin their work. The previous charter review was conducted in 2007 and 2008. At the January meeting, the City Council requested that the item be brought before you all at the first May meeting with staff recommendations for any changes to the previous process of choosing commission members and a recommended calendar associated with the process. These staff recommendations were presented to the City Council on May 2nd. Following council discussion of the recommendations, staff was directed to bring forth the final version of the process and a calendar for council consideration. Resolution 1627 before you this evening is now before the council for consideration. That concludes staff report, sir. Any questions of staff? Seeing none, I'll, entert I'll entertain a motion to resolve resolution 16-27. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I move that we approve Resolution 16-26, establishing a procedure and schedule for establishing the Charter Review Commission. Second. Uh, the, the second is out of order. Uh, Councilmember Kellogg, for clarification, you, you mean 16-27. Yes, I did. What did I say? You said 26. It's all good. I'm sorry. Yes, I did mean 27. With as tongue-tied as I've been, I can't criticize. Fair <laughs> enough. Okay, so there is a motion regarding Resolution 16-27. And seconded. Now there's a second. Um, with that, any discussion? 
Seeing none, all in favor? Passes unanimously five to zero. That concludes first readings. Moving on to public comments. Any member of the public can come forward and uh, please state your name and address and keep your comments as stated to a maximum of five minutes. And seeing no members of the public coming forward, I'll close that and move to Mayor Council Communication, um, a law school believer of the rolling ball. I will uh, start with one end, Council Member Kellogg. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, and thank you for the correction. I, see how easy it is for me to transpose it? And I, 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 I was absolutely right in this mind, so thank you for that, and I apologize. Um, the, um, I don't really have any comments tonight. What I do is have is a question of, of staff, and, and they may need to get back in touch with me. But um, as going through my exercise, my daily exercise, walking in that, I've noticed uh, some erosion in the uh, particularly long huntsman uh, between the sidewalks and the curbs where the, uh, the, the ground has washed away, eroded, and there's openings underneath the, uh, the uh, inlets for the, the, the storm drain sewers at the street. And I'm kind of curious if staff is aware of it. I'm, I'm quite sure they are, but uh, what, if there's a plan going forward, I'd kind of like to know what that is. Uh, I'm not asking for answers tonight, but give the staff a heads up as to what my concerns are. So that's all I got tonight, and thank you very much. Thank you. Councilmember of Dogawad. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. Um, of course, since we recognize retired teachers tonight, I have to say something about that. Um, I'm just happy that the city recognized that group, the Missouri Retired Teachers Association. I know that they do a lot of work with the schools and with the state for the schools. Um, so I was happy to see that proclamation tonight. Um, and also, I talked about this a little bit last time, but just great big shout out to our city staff for, I mean, to, in this meeting, we've heard about all the money that, that your awesome work is, is saving the people in Raymore, the mud jacking equipment and the sidewalk repair, saving tons of money. Um, the street lights, I'm getting there. <laughs> um, just being, you know, in the front of the on the front of the game um, for the geo bonds, that's saving us money. The street light purchase that we're going to get with the geo bond or with our bond money is, again, saving money everywhere. It's it's awesome. And then last, um, I heard from some people out in Knoll Creek this week, and so again, I want to give a shout out to city staff. The people out there on North Prairie really appreciate your work and the work with MoDOT fixing that road out there and that approach to the highway for them. So I just wanted to let you know that they contacted me. They appreciate your work, and thank you for that. And that's all. All right. Council Member Hubach? Nothing tonight. Okay. Council Member Stevens? No comments. Okay. Um, I will go as a council member, not as the mayor, um, but I will say thank you to um, both both Mr. Goffey and the members of Gilmore and Bell. Great to have you guys always come out. That's wonderful news about our bonds. Um, it's great to see everything in that whole realm moving forward well. Um, you know, as a fa having a father as a teacher, I have to say that I, I don't even know why we call them retired teachers. They're just teachers with no class in session because even when they retire, um, they still have a love for kids and students, and uh, uh, my father is a testament to that. I will personally acknowledge this is a very sad week in the Moorhead household. My 18-year-old little girl just graduated from Ray Peck High School and got to enjoy the graduation last Friday night. Um, but I have to say, I was impressed with the 400 plus students and to hear the uh, just incredible volume of scholarships that all of, the, all of them earned. Um, clearly, Ray Peck had a wonderful year this year, so that's a compliment to everybody. And, uh, but boy, it's sad to see my daughter moving on. Um, still trying to keep her at home. She wants to go away to college. And uh, I, Mr. Mustine, you're welcome to correct me, but um, I remember uh, uh, Mayor Kirkhoff used to always mention the weather in the farmer's market, but I believe the farmer's market officially opens on June 7th. 
14th, thank you, that's why I needed corrected. So, uh, but, so we're ready for that to come around again and with uh, TB Hanna Station uh, up and running, I think it's gonna be an exciting summer for that. So I can't predict the weather though, so uh, good luck on that, I hope it doesn't rain. Uh, with, that's all I have. Mr. Fairborn, do we have any reason to go into executive session? We do not, sir. Okay, with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, I move that we adjourn tonight's city council meeting. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? It's unanimous. We're adjourned.